Hey guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Had an email today from a reader asking about reverse teeth scroll saw blades. They had seen the term, they really didn't know what it meant, and so I thought maybe a couple other people might uh, might uh, want to have this information also. So I'm going to do a quick little video here to explain the difference. What you're seeing on the screen right now are two scroll saw blades. The one on the left is a straight blade that does not have any reverse teeth and the one on the right does have reverse teeth. Now if you look at this picture, the top is of the blade is at the top and you can see that the uh, bottom several teeth of the blade on the right are actually pointing in the opposite direction. And what this causes is it causes the blade to cut uh, not only on the downstroke but also on the upstroke also and in the next couple of little videos that we're going to I'm going to show you here you'll see the difference that this blade makes uh, as it makes its cut now where you see the difference here of course is on the back side of the board here is the uh, back side of the board cut with uh, a scroll saw blade without the reverse teeth and you can see that there's a considerable amount of splintering or what we call tear out on the back side of the board. Now in this clip you're seeing a cut done with a reverse to scroll saw blade and you can see that the back side of the cut is much cleaner and this gives us uh, much less sanding to do on the back of the project which sometimes can be pretty difficult. So the obvious question would be if we get so much better of a cut with a reverse two scroll saw blade, why would we ever use anything else? Well, that gets complicated, but basically because not all materials are the same. Uh, we have some materials that we cut with a scroll saw that do not cut well with a reverse tooth blade, such as uh, acrylic or corian, uh, metal, uh, even some thicker woods where you, uh, you uh, need... Uh, uh, the sawdust to be removed from the kerf more efficiently, uh, a reverse tooth blade may not be ideal in that situation. So there are reasons not to use a reverse tooth blade, but uh, for the vast majority of scroll saw cutting that you'll do, the reverse tooth blade is the preferred blade. Okay, there's a little bit of information for you. Hope that helps, and we'll catch you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.